Okay, Friday night. Saturday night. That's what I said. Saturday night, <laughs> September 18th. November 18th. That's what I said. November 18th at 5.30. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we're not on the boat or else we got a much bigger boat. Uh, we're actually home for a couple months. And I was thinking about these videos I've been making, and uh, we started making them pretty much strictly for, for friends and family. But I've realized we've picked up uh, subscribers, uh, and we never really introduced ourselves. So, so I thought I'd do a video since we're home and tell you who we are. I know who I am. Who are you? Lorraine and Randy, one retriever. A little longer. Looping, one retriever. Start that we started on July fifth, and plan to resume the, about mid November, mid March of twenty twenty four. So we live in Pennsylvania, and that's where we are now. Our boat is in Fulton, Mississippi. We had to take a break for several reasons, not none the least of was doctor's appointments. And I'm going to say just something about that in a minute. We've been married for it'll be 40, 40 years, <clears throat> boating much. pretty much our whole mm -hmm. married life. So we're not new to the loop. Uh, I mean, we're new to the loop, but we're not new to boating. We've met a lot of people in the loop who are brand new to boating, and that's a whole different ball game. Uh, we have four, I have four years experience. I have a captain's license, 100 ton. I drove water taxis. Uh, we've done a few deliveries, so we sort of know what we're doing, although the loop has... We has, thought we did. <laughs> the loop has thrown challenges we didn't know, but retrievers are... Uh, 36 grand banks, single screw, no bow thruster. Unless you count Marine as the bow thruster. But we're ha we have no problem with that. In, in fact, we sort of like that. We're kind of proud that we're doing it the old way. Why we're doing this now, uh, why are we doing this now? Well, the timing. As we all know, we, um, you know, we're never guaranteed tomorrow. Randy had a very serious illness about four years ago. Long story short, bone marrow transplant, successful full remission, which kind of wakes you up. Uh, you're going along and everything's fine, and all of a sudden it's not fine. So with that, plus our daughter moving to um, Seattle with a, a dog that we helped her out a lot, we're like, you know, we've been talking about traveling for 30 years, 40 years to, on a boat. Let's just do it. And uh, I had never heard of the loop. Um, Randy had, and I wanted to just do like a Florida thing, come back, and then maybe a, a Maine thing. But uh, he introduced me to this idea of looping, and we watched some videos, and and here we are doing the loop. We actually have the perfect boat for it, I think. A little slow, but most of the loop you do at seven and a half knots, regardless of what you have, either because there's a lot of speed limits in these lakes, especially in Canada, or people do it for fuel reasons. So we're halfway through. We've done 3,000 statute miles. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to finish up in the Chesapeake Bay maybe in September sometime. Louder. And that can be fluid. I mean, who knows? Um, could be sooner, could be later, but that's sort of our our tentative plan. 
We, we have learned a tremendous amount considering the experience we had. <clears throat> so, I, if you have been watching and don't know who, who we are, that's who we are. We live in Pennsylvania. Um, we're hoping to get back to Mississippi. Uh, I think you just said that. Well, we may do a trial run in February to load some things up. You kind of figure things out as you go as far as uh, we're, we're going to try and be a little less crowded so that we can maybe have some guests on the boat a little more comfortably. So we might do a trial run, make, make sure a shower, great fits, uh, that kind of stuff, and then um, come back again and then have less work to do and then get moving. And we've had surprisingly few incidents. Everybody has problems, and, and I'm talking mechanical or whatever. We did, if you watch my previous videos, you'll see we did get towed 50 miles in the ocean. Yeah, on day like four, right? <laughs> yeah, on day four, and then not too soon after that, the boat yeah. wouldn't start in a lock. Yeah. And, and we've worked that kind of stuff out. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we'll have other incidences that'll pop up like everybody does. So, um, let, let me say, how, how do we feel about it at this point? I think I loved every minute of it. Uh, it's almost indescribable that what you go through day after day after day met a great group of people uh, probably a hundred people that we we would call friends mm -hmm. um, Lorraine probably I'll let her speak but probably wasn't didn't uh, love every minute of it I, I saw a post on Facebook somebody said that it was great except for three days and I would like say ditto on that, maybe four days for us. We had a couple days that um, I really didn't think I signed up for. It was, it was a lot more challenging than I expected. But for the most part, it, it is fun. It's, it's, it, it's a lot of work though, and it's challenging. And we've risen to the challenges and fig we, we figure out what we need to do. For the, you know, for the most part. And yeah, we look forward to, to hitting Florida too. It'll yeah. be a new, new environment. Every, every stage for us, for everybody, <clears throat> we went up the East Coast, we went up the Hudson River, through the Erie Canal, everything was different. Then we went into Canada, a uh, whole different, different mentality, different culture. We couldn't find the food we needed. Uh, but we didn't starve. But but it was truly beautiful up there. It was, and, and uh, my bank account got hacked for almost eleven thousand dollars, which we eventually straightened out. So you have your day to day. Yeah. But never once, uh, even even on day two or three when we're being towed, no. did we ever consider that we wouldn't continue this. We're both uh, pretty goal oriented. If we start something, we're going to finish it. Yeah, and we both knew um, we were going to have issues. We didn't, didn't think that we'd have them on day four. But and you know, it's it's just really like being at home. You know, you have day to day issues always that need solved. You need to, to fix this or take care of that. It's no different on the boat. I, I try to think of things that I I could tell people, and we would answer any questions. And uh, you know, I think the channel may grow a little bit. As far as personally, our relationship. We just spent four months on a boat the size of uh, this living room. <laughs> I'd say rarely were we yeah. less than 20 feet from each other unless Lorraine was doing well. But we're a team. We've always been a team. And, and people say, well, you know, how do you get along? We got along great. We always yeah. have. Yeah. Well, you have your moments like, like we all do. Um, but they pass quickly, and and uh, so nobody, nobody anywhere. I would rather do it with. Uh, it's been a learning experience for me, <laughs> and also for Lorraine. The locks, and we're we're both pretty much beat to hell. But her <laughs> shoulders and stuff. But it. One of the reasons I wanted to come home was my my shoulder. I had like three minor injuries, but I'd like to get some therapy and get myself tuned up, ready to go. 
Another thing that I thought was interesting, like we found that the locks were very challenging, the pleasure locks, but, um, and I probably shouldn't say this, it'll probably bite me in the butt, but you know, the, I was kind of worried about these really big locks, and so far, um, knock on wood, they, they've, gone, they've gone fine. Well, we learned how to do it. Yeah. We learned how to contact the lock master at like yeah. 6.30 in the morning, yeah. have a group, everybody do what he expects you to do. Uh, just a couple other things I wanted to mention. We left with a brand new dinghy and engine and ran it one time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm not saying you shouldn't have it. I think we'll use it more in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, marinas were so cheap in, yeah. in Canada. Well, and you're tired, you have long days. It's you just... want the electric, you want to be yeah. able to cook. Yeah. I put uh, radar on the boat. Uh, a better chart plotter and transducer, for, but I didn't have AIS. Don't go down the Mississippi River without AIS. I'm putting it on before we yeah, leave. You didn't really miss it in, until we hit the Mississippi. That was when it dawned on you that... Most of these uh, large toes or these large tugs, you have to ask them permission to pass them, whether they're coming towards you or going. And they don't like to they don't like to fool around with pleasure boaters, so you have to call them and you have to call them by name and you have to ask them what they want you to do. And if you don't have AIS, you, you can't identify them, nor can they identify you. And sometimes they'll just ignore you. Usually we were in a group, so we could you know tow Mary Bell. This is a group of five pleasure craft. We'd like to. Uh, pass you, do you want us on your, and you say you're one or you're two, which means you're port or you're starboard, but there's a certain procedure, and uh, if you're lucky, and if you can understand a deep Alabama accent from a guy with a chew in his, in his <laughs> chest, or in his chaw, chaw yeah, I'd say that I might go one top. <laughs> That's about the most you're going to get, and uh, what he said was pass us on the one. <laughs> So, so we're just hoping to get a couple projects done, boat projects done, and and wanted to come back to give the house a hug or two, you know, just give our, our support team that has been so helpful to us, give them a break, and and uh, help our daughter out, you know, she had a little bit of a change in a situation, and you know, she'll be back and forth a little bit, so I'm sure we'll be raring to go. R Randy really would have liked to have kept going, but we this was really the plan. And um, that time will fly by, although he tells me the minute it starts snowing, he's out of here. So we'll see what kind of a winter we have. Well, we in... still see doctors. I see oncologists. I need medication. Yeah. Um, and the, one other thing I'll say, uh, I'm 75 years old, and my strength is probably not where it used to be because of the transplant and because of other things. Learning is not near as old as I am. And that bothered me a little bit for my age, but we have good friends that are 85, 87, doing the loop. We have pe see, we have friends in a 25-foot boat doing it solo. We have friends in a two and a half million dollar boat uh, that go to a marina that has a uh, nice restaurant because he likes mutton and whatever and ever. So it runs the gamut. Yeah. But when you're on the dock having docktails. You don't really know or care who's in which boat. Yeah, it's where you going, where have you been, yeah. what's going on. Yeah, it's not really, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to introduce us, if you don't know us. Uh, I appreciate people that follow us and like it and so on. Uh, I still have three or four easily videos just to catch up to where we are. So I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, and one other thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to film it tonight, but I'm going to tell you what, how I do these videos, uh, what equipment I use, how I edit it, and so on. That'll either help some people or it'll help some people not make the same mistakes I made. But uh, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with the videos. But I had a lot of problem early on with sound. Uh, I have two GoPro and a Nikon and a Canon, and I'll, I'll mention that uh, later.
But again, we would answer any questions. Uh, really love to talk to people that have done this or want to do it because as much research and experience as we had, I'm not sure we were yeah. fairly prepared. Well, I don't think you. I don't think anyone can really prepare you for it. Um, I mean, we read um, companion guides and did our, you know, watch shows and tried to prepare ourselves. But until you're actually doing it, it's um, it's it's uh, not quite quite the same. But so we're back in uh, dry land, but we're still going to go out to dinner. Yep. We don't have any wind blowing. Or a little bottle of wine and <laughs> look forward to uh, March, maybe, or yep. February. Yep, yep. So again, thanks for watching. It's, it's important to us. Uh, it takes me probably five, six hours to do a short video. So I like to see that people did watch it or commented, so I don't feel like it's it's in vain and it, and it would be be really easy not to do them but but I like doing them cheers until the next time <laughs>